I know, it's crazy. I'm wearing shirts now. Hey, Marvel fans, Ryan Panagos, AKA Agent M here with the VFX supervisor of Marvel Studios' Avengers Endgame, Dan DeLue. How you doing, Dan? Good, how are you? Very well. I would love to talk about the Hulk. One of my favorite reveals in the movie is when we see the new Smart Hulk. He's very classy, he's got great fashion sense, wonderful <laughs> glasses. Where did you and the team start to look at developing this, this, new, this new look for Hulk? Well, we started with a couple different ways. We had, you know, it was kind of the look dev. Uh, they started kind of experimenting with different ideas. How much Ruffalo, how much Hulk. And so it was making sure that we could have just enough of Ruffalo there that you'd, you know, you'd believe him as a character and help us to you know, bring that character to life by what we could do with bringing the animation into it and the motion capture into it. Mark doing the motion capture, and it seems like he's just having a ball. He's like ad-libbing and mm -hmm. even though he's dabbing. Yep. What is that like for, for you as, as someone who's creating all this and, and being able to express this amazing CGI character with someone like Mark? It's that partnership I think is key when you get someone of the caliber of Mark Ruffalo he can bring so much because he knows the character's journey through the films. You know how brilliant of an actor he is, and then suddenly he's, he's bringing that to you. And, and then for the visual effects side of it, you want to be in a place that you have the artistry and the technology at a place that can actually incorporate that into the final visual effect. His face is so elastic and his big cheeks, it's like you need to be able to get all of that. And kind of one, to get you out of the Uncanny Valley, and two, just to make, you know, realize that it's Mark. And, and kind of some of the first tests we did and when we finally got all the software working, it's just, it's like magic. You know, you've got him in the diner and there's this one shot that's my favorite shot in the film where he's like, you know, Hulk's there eating a giant stack of pancakes and eggs and you've actually got the digital character, you know, talking with his mouth full of food. You know, it's, it's hard enough to get the lip sync to work correctly, but suddenly he's actually, you know, around the food and it's like, oh my God, it's working. This is amazing. <laughs> I love that diner scene. As I was rewatching actually where Mark is in the suit, in the motion capture suit. I just got fascinated with the fact that there was an actual crepe, and then I, you know, you watch the final version, and then there's this digital crepe mm -hmm. uh, and, and Hulk's hand, and I just find it fascinating of how you and the team put Hulk in this scene with all these other characters and how this all comes together. The key to all this, making all this work, the biggest thing you can do is make the actor comfortable on set. They're in this giant helmet with a camera on the front of it and this crazy outfit that we use to be able to track it with cameras or without. You know, a lot of times people will try to do that just in like a motion capture volume that's separate from set. And if you can, you want to be able to put them on set with their other actors so they can listen to each other and play off each other. And then you give them things like the crepes and the sausages so that they can actually feel like they're the char that character in the scene. So, you know, it's a way to keep the scene from becoming sterile, because mm -hmm. a lot of times with visual effects, you know, when you just got a giant blue screen out there, it's, it's kind of, will take the actors out of it. I want to talk about the taco scene. One, the internet loves them, that Hulk giving tacos to Scott <laughs> scene. I think it is wonderful, it's so sweet, and it, when you talk about, you know, Mark taking Hulk on this journey, and the character, and the way he's developed, I also am just fascinated by this massive CGI character handing these tiny little tacos. I, I assume that was all VFX. Yeah, it was all VFX. We had, you know, uh, Mark on set, and he had real tacos that he could hand to Paul. Sometimes you'll get lucky and you can keep the real tacos. Sometimes you can't. You know, with the case with Hulk, you know, his hands so much bigger than Mark, we ended up replacing them, and you know, it ended up being just a really sweet moment. When we're talking about the way that the Hulk has evolved, now we see our Hulk going back to the Battle of New York and seeing his more aggressive side mm -hmm. out. How do you, as the VFX team, work with Mark to actually express the, the sort of reluctant Hulk? If you look at the different films, you go from uh, the first Avengers to Ultron to Ragnarok, you know, the Hulk model changed throughout the films. And so, because we were traveling back in time, we actually just went back and resurrected the actual sculpt of Hulk from the first Avengers and started with that. And then when we started with Smart Hulk, we knew he was going to be, because of the merging of Banner and Hulk, he'd be a little bit smaller, right? So the Hulk himself, he's about eight foot, eight foot five. You know, he'll slouch a little bit. If you compare him to Thanos, he's actually taller than Thanos, except when he slouches. <laughs> so he's a little shorter than Thanos. So we made him about seven foot five. So we used the, the proportions from the first Avengers and then kind of started manipulating from there and kind of putting some more of Banner's humanity into, into the Hulk, into, into a sculpt. We got the first kind of 
turntables back and on his face, you captured Mark, you captured his face. And then when everybody saw it, they all thought, well, he's really handsome, you know, and it was like, and we kept getting it. So it's like, you know, you know, Hulk's got game. Amy's going to go on, on dates over the five years. I imagine that you have a computer that is just like Hulk and you have sliders for like, you know, making him smaller, making him larger, like more handsome, more handsome, more handsome. And he's like, you know, hearts all around him and everybody's like, Ooh, I want that computer. I love all those little details and I'm sure we're going to see tons more when Marvel Studios Avengers Endgame hits digital and Blu-ray. Thanks so much for being here, Dan. Thank you, appreciate it.